Feathering in selections is very important. What it allows you to do is to create composites that mold together and don't have hard edges, which draws attention to themselves. So what feathering is, if I grab the marquee tool here, and I have my feathering set at zero, see the nice hard square edges? If I copy those and paste it against the black background, you can see we have nice hard edges all the way around. If I go and increase my feathering here to let's say 15 pixels and make a selection, you'll see that my edges automatically round. And what that's doing is it's 15 pixels on either side of the selection line through a gradient. So if I copy this and I paste that into the black, you can see the difference. This is a feathered edge, this is a soft edge. So generally what we do when we select things is we want a nice soft edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the magnetic lasso here and have my feathered edge at three. And I'm just going to go around my duck. A little fast perhaps, but we will fix that in a minute. So there's this, and I'm going to subtract this part, holding down the minus key, excuse me, the, op the option key, and I'm going to hold the shift key and add this little piece back on there. So I more or less have my duck here. Not a perfect duck, but a duck, and it's feathered at three. So I'm going to copy this and paste this into the black space. And you can see this is a nice zoom up here. You can see the softer edge, and because it was a quick selection, probably not the best, but if we zoom up here, you can see that it starts to mold itself into the edge overall. If I take this same duck and I go here and perhaps contract my selection just a bit, copy this, and let's put it in a different scene, such as a um, barn. So there's my barn, there's my duck, and if we zoom up a little bit further here, you can see that this has a soft edge all the way around it. It's not a perfect selection. But you can see that it starts to mold into the background, and that's why feathering of edges is so important. Generally, you want to feather any selection roughly two to three pixels for a composite. 